Welcome back to Mr. Moore PE. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Um, this video today is a GCSE concept called short term effects of exercise on the body. Another word for short term is immediate. What happens straight away when you start exercising? And this is very different to long term. And we'll explore all the key aspects here. So for example, if I just started doing exercise straight away like this and I started running, one of the first things that happened to my body is my heart rate would increase. So my heart rate would go up. So that would be an increase. Um, and the reason for that is that it's pumping oxygenated blood to the working muscles and the working muscles need that blood in order to be able to function. So the heart rate goes up in order to pump more of the, uh, the, the oxygenated red blood cells to the areas that need it. And that's really interesting too because at rest your heart rate is going to be between 60 and 80 beats per minute. That will increase anything up to kind of 200 beats per minute if you were 20 years of age. And there's an equation that we use that's 220 minus your age to calculate that heart rate. So the first thing that happens is heart rate goes up. When heart rate goes up, temperature increases too. So um, the temperature will go up as a result of the heart rate increasing. Out of interest, the core body temperature is 37.7 degrees. It won't go up that much, but it'll increase slightly and then we'll start to sweat and start to breathe in order to cool our body back down again. That whole process, if you're interested, is called thermoregulation. If the heart rate's going up and the temperature's going up, then inevitably the breathing rate is also going to increase. And what this means is we'll breathe more than we would do because we need to get more oxygen in the body to supply those working muscles with the oxyhemoglobin, the red blood cells that we need to be able to do the energy and the exercise. So these are the three most obvious marks and you'll always get three marks for talking about those. What we're going to talk about now is some of the more difficult marks that potentially could get you a 9 or an 8, some of the top grades. So first of all, we've got stroke volume. Stroke volume is defined as sort of uh, the amount of volume of blood that leaves the heart per beat. And that will increase if we start doing exercise because we need to get more blood out. Cardiac output is the maximum amount of blood that goes out of the heart per minute. And that will also increase. So all of these things are increasing. You're starting to see a trend. And the more we exercise, so after about sort of 90 seconds to two minutes, we'll start to create this byproduct in our muscles called lactic acid. So this is a really interesting one because actually it will slow us down and um, we need to get rid of that lactic acid, buffer that lactic acid in order to be able to continue to do exercise. So these are the six immediate uh, short-term effects of doing exercise on the body. They're mostly cardiovascular. You will not get a mark for talking about hypertrophy because a short-term effect of building muscle is not, or the heart is not hypertrophy. These are the short-term effects. So just to clarify, we've got heart rate, we've got temperature, breathing rate, stroke volume, cardiac output and lactic acid all increasing and they are the immediate effects of exercise in the body.